Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. My name is Chloe and this is Cozy Pixels and today we are making over the Beaker household in Strange Town. I've been wondering for a while which house should I make over next and to be honest I just wanted to get this out of the way because this is horrendous. I am not sure how much I like the end product that I came up with but you guys will see and I hope you guys can give me some tips because I will have a few questions actually about this household but here we go. So this house has, a, has this weird castle like vibe and I don't know how did this medieval castle type of building got into the middle of the desert in Strange Town. It doesn't really make a lot of sense to me but I thought um, we can keep the vibe because i've been wondering a lot what i want to do with this building and for a while i've been thinking that maybe i can give it like a very modern makeover like this um like the name of the lot is tesla court and i thought maybe we can do this like huge white and glass building and i don't know all this electricity stuff but I decided that I kind of want to keep that vibe to the curious family because in my head they are the good guys, good scientists, they want to know everything about the world and they are curious though. And the beakers are kind of the evil scientists of the town and I wanted the building to reflect that and like kind of the family feud if that makes sense because uh, the curious family hates Loki as far as I know lore wise so I decided to keep the vibe. I don't like it, to be honest. <laughs> I wish I could make it look modern, but I decided to keep it lower wise. And you guys always complain that I change too much about my makeovers. So, <laughs> no, just kidding. Um, or am I? No, but just kidding. So, yeah, I decided to keep the castle vibe, but I wanted to change it up a little bit because I didn't really like all the fences and like weird um, towers so yeah basically what I'm trying to say is that I'm trying to keep the evil scientist vibe and also I had a bit of a trouble with this because I don't think I ever played with the Beaker household in my life like ever and that's weird because I can kind of remember playing every household in Strange Town and of course in Pleasant View, but not the Beakers. And it's just because I don't know what to do with them. Of course, like every sane person who has a little heart would uh, free nervous. And yeah, that's obviously what I want to do, move uh, nervous subject out. But then what What do you guys do with Circe? 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 I guess it's Circe, right? Uh, and Loki, so what do you guys do with them? Because I have no idea. They are the evil scientists, the bad guys. They are keeping poor nervous captive in their basement. And we will uh, get to that part of the house very soon. But like, you know what I mean? Like, okay, we get nervous out of here, but what's the story behind that? Obviously, he inherits Olive's um, wealth. But also, how does that happen if no one knows that Nervous is at the Beaker family? Because Nervous has only one acquaintance, and that's um, Pascal. But other than Pascal, no one seems to know Nervous, and like they don't even know that he exists. So how are they finding him to kind of like you know give the inheritance to him? So I don't know. And like after after that. After years of torture, do you think that the Beakers would just simply let him go? I don't know. It, this whole thing just doesn't come together in my mind. So I would love to hear your opinions and what do you guys do with the Beaker family in your own Let's Plays because I'm kind of clueless. And when I start playing The Neighborhood, I, I wanted to make sense uh, story-wise. So let me know, guys. Also, to the building. I was trying so hard to find some nice windows here, but I didn't. So then I decided to make it one tile shorter so I can fit nice double windows there. And yeah, I was messing so much around with the exterior. And I guess you guys are already used to that, but like half of my speed builds is basically just the 
trying to figure out the exterior of the house and then decorating also this house is huge and like in the original because of the messy floor plan there was there was a lot of space that um, kind of just were there they weren't really utilized and everything and i modified the floor plan so now we have a lot of rooms but you will see later that like kind of half of the house is empty like upstairs there's only the bedroom of the beakers and nothing else so i'm open to suggestions what do you guys do with this huge house because uh, as i said i'm kind of clueless about this family and um yeah i just don't really know what to do with them also here you can see me wasting a lot of time trying to figure this out and while editing i realized that i i was messing so much with this part but in the end i didn't even make it symmetrical and now it really bothers me <laughs> so when i'm going back to the game i'm i'm gonna fix that but basically i wanted this huge stairway leading up to the main entrance because this is a castle after all and i can just kind of imagine I mean, like, you know, these Disney castles have these huge steps and uh, staircases leading to the front. So I decided to go with something like that. Although this is not a Disney castle and like it's much more scary and like terrifying than a Disney castle, but oh well. So yeah, you can see that I put a lot of rooms here, like there's three bedrooms upstairs and i don't know what to do with them because i'm not sure if uh, loki and um what what's her face i can i don't know how to pronounce her name i'm sorry uh so i don't know if they will have kids or like really what do i do with them i think this is the family that i know at least about actually i just know they are like very very bad people but here with the layout i did a thing because originally uh, the torture chamber slash lab opens from the living room and like there is no door it's just an open space and that didn't really sit right with me because i think if you have a torture chamber in your house at least you wouldn't want every person to be able to see it right because probably they would call the police as they should but it seems that in pleasant view no one i mean in strange town no one really cares do they? <laughs> so I um, I divided the lab from the living room and I added another room at the back of the building which will be the study and the lab will open from the study and I put down this two-way um, bookshelf but I'm not sure if they will be able to use it. I think I'm gonna have to figure that out. Also I did this little um, jail fence thing because i saw someone on tumblr make it like that i can't remember for the love of me who did this i was trying to find it but i couldn't but i saw that idea i think it's really neat first i wanted to do the invisible floor tiles but i couldn't really see through it as much as with this solution and i was thinking maybe when i'm gonna play it will be more useful if you can just click on the objects in the basement without having to go down every single time so yeah there's that also we have a lot of bathrooms and a very weirdly shaped kitchen i wanted to keep kind of the scary vibes of the house but i decided to remove that ugly ass stone wallpaper i don't know why they keep using that i think you know i think in olive's house it was the same wallpaper and it was horrendous but i decided to keep the brick theme so everything almost everything inside the house is brick and the outside is brick as well and um i don't know about it to be honest i don't I, I don't know if i really like it or not i think if i would change more on this house i would have been a bigger fan of it but to be honest like i i didn't want to change the whole house and like make it up from scratch and put so much love in it like in the curious family makeover because i don't really know these guys i hate these guys like they suck <laughs> i only like nervous and he will move out eventually anyway after olive dies or even before because i'm thinking about moving him together with pascal so um, yeah i i didn't see any reason to kind of um 
make it a super nice house. So yeah, that's why I decided to leave half of the rooms empty because I just uh, I just couldn't be bothered, but also had no idea what to do with them. Also, all these balconies, I really like them. I have to say, I love the balconies. I would love them in real life, but in The Sims, I'm not sure how useful they are or how good is it that they are there because they don't do anything on the balconies anyway. But in real life, I can see myself like going out to have a coffee on the balcony every morning. That sounds something that I would love. So yeah, very weirdly shaped kitchen. I didn't really know what I want to do with this, except that I want to have the dining table in the corner where the tower thingy is. So um, I was in a bit of a trouble. First, it, it looked kind of weird and I didn't really know how to orient how to orientate? Uh, I don't know, I can't speak, I'm sorry. So yeah, I didn't really know what to do and then I decided to switch up the whole thing and um, have all this stuff here and I added a few counters on the other side. I think this way it doesn't really look that bad, it's still not perfect because of the weird um, pointing out area. I don't really know how could have I make it better, but I think I'm I'm satisfied with this. Also, the beakers are very rich, so I think this is actually the first household that I put um, a dishwasher in their house makeover. I think that's true because obviously in the goth household I didn't put a dishwasher because the gods hate electricity, and I think I put down a television, so I was. Um, reaching my boundaries here I didn't really want to overstep so I think it's a fun fact that I think this is the first house that I put a dishwasher in in my makeovers so also I had this idea that I would put a lot of knife related decoration in the kitchen I mean having knives in the kitchen is kind of a normal thing to do but I wanted to have a lot of knives to kind of emphasize that they are a little bit um, psycho I don't know how well did that translate, but I think again, it, this was just a little fun fact for myself that I decided to do this. I didn't really want to go full cycle. I don't even think that I have enough custom content to do that. Also, I didn't want it to make it too obvious. So obviously the Beaker family knows other people in Strange Town, And if they invite someone over, or I don't know when the police comes to their house, you don't want your house to look like a murder house and that's what I said at Olive's house as well that It's just weird if you have a full house that looks like a serial killer lives there You don't want to do that when you are actually a serial killer like it doesn't make sense So I decided to kind of have the creepy vibes, but not too creepy. It's mostly just like oiled furniture or like um a bit more expensive old looking furniture even if uh, if not old but yeah that's my my head canon on why i kind of modernized the house because it just makes more sense to me but i was trying to keep the the vibes of the original one even if it looks a little bit prettier than that one i think it uh, it kind of fits also i i don't really know much I think I said this already. <laughs> I don't really know much about these people, uh, but I know that um, what's her face's bio says that um, she knows I don't know how many ways to make a same scream and none of them are nice. So it's like, she's a psychopath by definition. Like we need a house that, that kind of fits her, but not too obvious. Also, I don't know, like, is she the really like crazy one? and Loki is just chugging along, or are they both like very nasty? I am not entirely sure, but if I'm thinking about Loki's mustache, I think he has something as well, because mm, it's like his, his mustache is very suspicious. If I would know a person with a mustache like that, I wouldn't trust him. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. But yeah, but yeah, in The Sims, it works. So yeah, also nervous. I usually don't really use 
plastic surgery or like I don't really change the facial features of the sims that I make over from the pre-made sims but I do think that I am going to do a little plastic surgery on Nervous because the poor guy's face just looks so weird. I think I, the only thing that I, I really don't like on his face is his eyes because they are like very steep and they that don't really make sense to me. So I think that's that's going to get a little tweak. But other than that, yeah, and I guess by the time this video goes out on the thumbnail, you will see how I made him over because at this point I didn't do that yet. Also, there's a chance that this video will go out very late in the day. So sorry, guys. I hope you guys are having a nice evening. I had a really busy day and yeah, this is fine. The video arrives late. So here we are at the nervous little jail cell. And I have to say this is the first part, I mean, and I have to say this is my favorite part of the house. I think I kind of nailed it and it, it looks cozy, I guess, um, talking about the jail cell as much as a jail cell can be cozy. Also, I couldn't remember for the love of me when I built this, if they originally had like a bathroom for nervous in the jail cell or not. But I decided to put one down for him here. So, and like I put tiles above the bathroom area because I think the beakers looking at Loki while, uh, I mean, the beakers looking at Nervous while he's having a shower is very weird even to them. So I decided to do that. And um, I don't know, just added a little bit of a decoration. And I remember that he had a computer originally in the original house. So I added back the computer and basically there's that there's like a bed uh couch little computer little shower area and um and the bookshelf so it's not very luxurious but i think it's kind of cozy as much as a gsl can be cozy but yeah and here we are on the first floor where literally nothing will happen except this bedroom and the bathroom that belongs to the bedroom. I just don't know what to do with all this space. I'm not really good at building huge houses unless I have like a lot of sims who require a lot of space. Like um, in the Rex Riches challenge we had eight sims therefore we had a big house but i don't think that house was this big even so having this much of space for three sims and out of the three sims one lives in the basement is kind of a hard thing to do for me so if you guys have any ideas shoot it in the comments because i'm like i'm really in trouble on what to do with all this space and i put down these videos in the beginning of the video and like they give a little mediterranean vibes and i think that kind of makes sense because we are in a desert but a few of them are just arches and they cannot be closed and i put down the curtains there so i think that looks really cool i don't know how well that fits with the medieval castle style or like the psycho murderer torture chamber couple but yeah Anyway, I think we are slowly approaching the end of the video. Yeah, and now I put down lights. I hope you guys are proud of me because I keep forgetting to put the lights down, but I am I am very proud of myself now. And actually it looks really good at night. The castle or is it is it even a castle? It's not even a castle. It's more like a a bastion or I don't know. Because castles are pretty and this one is kind of pretty ugly, so <laughs> I don't know, but I guess that's what you get when you try to build a medieval castle in the middle of the desert. But yeah, maybe I should have used the Moroccan theme. Oh, now that I think about it, that doesn't really sound like a bad idea. But anyways, it's too little too late. Oh yeah, and I wanted to build a fence and you can see that there I can't flatten the ground and that's because the butterflies spawn there and I couldn't move them away <laughs> so I will have to fix that later when the butterflies despawn I kind of hate that you can't move the butterflies or maybe you can I just um I just didn't manage to do that 
but I had move objects on and even with that I didn't really succeed. So a little terraforming. I, they have a huge backyard and I don't really know what to do with it to be honest. I don't think they are kind of cool people. I don't think uh, the beakers like to have fun so um, I didn't build a pool. I mean they don't really have money left anyway so I think it was kind of the perfect place to stop. And basically this would be our little made over beaker castle or bastion or whatever. I hope they will be able to use the bookshelf door because I think that's a really nice touch but I'm not sure how to use that. Sometimes it works, sometimes it, it doesn't for me. I'm pretty sure some of you will know and let me know in the comments how the bookshelf door works. Maybe only like witches and wizards can open it. I am not sure. But yeah, I guess I can just uh, google it as well. So a little bit decoration here and basically we are finished. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Let me know in the comments what do you think. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye bye!